My name is Michelle Rod, and I teach sixth grade gifted and general science at Will Rogers Junior High in Claremore, Oklahoma. I love this quote of Albert Einstein that talks about having no special talents, but only being passionately curious. And I share that passion for science too. So I want to show you something really quick. Actually, I can order you now. So you guys see the clear lens. So when you get yours out, you'll notice yours is real cloudy. Yeah. And it's so the fresh one looks like this, and you can hold it if you want to. Well, you see how it kind of this rod look magnifies it a little bit. So yeah, and that's what our lenses do too. Yeah, see if you can get your lens out. One of our district goals is that we are going to be committed to student learning for all students. And if you go in Ms. Ron's classroom, you will see every student, regardless of where they came from, whether or not they like science or not, they are actively engaged in their own learning. And she does that by way of labs, she does that by way of project-based learning, and she is constantly seeking out uh, those types of activities where students can use what they have learned and apply them and puts it in such a way that every student is involved and she relentlessly pursues that for every one of her kiddos. One of the neat things that Ms. Ron also does is she creates an environment in her classroom. It's okay to fail. Uh, it's a safe place and I think that's really, really important. Uh, she has high standards. She has high expectations. But everything that she does, she does so with love and she builds relationships with her students. Is it touching all the edges? Pretty much just connected to the Okay, so I'm going to do 10 more pumps. Ready? One, two, three, four. Oh, it broke. Oh, all right, so think about how you can redesign that to where your connection might be stronger. Are you girls ready for a test? Yes, definitely. Redesign and think about it, of course. Yeah. So learning from your mistakes is how we learn best. So think about what you can, how you can change your design, how to make it better, stronger. Are you girls ready? Okay. All right. So when it touches all the edges, I'm going to give it ten more pumps. Okay. Touching all of them. So ready? One, two, three. Oh. Yeah. All right. Think about how you can make those connections stronger. Because I'm very much a hands on person, and we did so many different experiments, and it helped me understand science way more than any other any other teacher that I ha ever had. The way she makes her lessons, it's so much different. She doesn't just hand you a sheet of paper and tell you to write down the answers to the problems on it. She, ha she has you think about it like a puzzle. I started my teaching career kind of later on in my adult life, so it wasn't something that I initially <clears throat> thought that I would do. I um, had a major event happen in my life and that kind of changed my thinking about my career and, and changed the, the trajectory of it. When my oldest son was four, he was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. And from that moment on, from that day on, I had to instantly become a teacher and train his teachers and my family members and his friends and his friends' parents on how to care for him if he was in with them and what to do in case of an emergency. So it was that initial push that started me uh, into the classroom. So at the beginning of every school year, I would go to his class with just a little teddy bear named Rufus. And Rufus had diabetes, so we would talk about how Rufus had to take insulin shots and what to do if Rufus was feeling kind of weird and, and getting kind of combative and that he needed sugar. And so I used this little teddy bear as just <clears throat> to kind of bring that lesson to the students. And so once I started doing that, I got my first taste of being in a classroom and, and teaching children and, and having them engaged with a lesson. Every day Mrs. Ron walks into the school, passes me on her way in. She always has a smile. She's always kind. Um, she's always got a positive attitude. 
Um, this is Mrs. Ron, Monday through Friday, with no exception. I love Miss Ron because she was always so hands-on with her activities in her classroom, and I just loved getting to be one of her students. The first week of school when the students come to my classroom, we spend a long time building those classroom norms and those relationships because students have to feel safe in order to raise their hand and take that risk of sharing their idea or their thinking. And so that's uh, one of the strategies that I use um, at the beginning of the school year to build that community of learners because if they don't feel safe, if they don't feel like they can participate, then we don't know what they're thinking, what they're learning. And so I strive to build those relationships with my students. So once it touches the edges, Ella, then I will. I'm going to give it 10. Well, I hope not. <laughs> so we're going to get it to the edges. That's why I have a pump. Okay, okay now I'm going to give it 10 more pumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, we had a break, didn't we? Boy, you got close. You got eight. I teach very hands-on. I like to have the kids come up with questions and use inquiry-based learning. Mrs. Ron challenges her students to think critically and ask the questions why. The reason Mrs. Ron challenges herself, she spends the summer in school breaks, attending conferences and workshops to bring fun and innovative ways back to the students of Claremore that she has learned from our, in our state, in our country, and around the world. I've had the honor and privilege of working with Michelle Ron at Will Rogers Junior High in Claremore for the last three years. When I think of Michelle, I think of her passion for her students, for education, and for learning. Whatever Michelle's doing, she always asks the same question. And that question is, is this what's best for the students? That's her top priority. She practices argumentative reasoning with her students, which is also multifaceted learning because they always have to learn how to argue effectively they are able to apply their knowledge by making their claim citing their evidence with facts and research skills and then they explain exactly what it is that they learned when they're able to do that it solidifies what they've actually learned in the classroom and prepares them for their careers and success later in life challenge anyone to come to the Will, to Will Rogers Junior High, check in at the office, and see for yourself what's going on in Mrs. Ron's classroom. Because I can guarantee you, any time we can walk down there and those kids will be engaged and having fun in their learning.